Hi, MDrummer can take your sample libraries, analyze them, and create drum sets and components compatible with other MDrummer content automatically. How cool is that? After all, there are thousands of them out there on the internet. Many of them are for free. Let's see how the import is done. MDrummer analyzes drum samples by keywords. So to use this feature successfully, each sample needs to be named properly. If your kick is named a boom 01.wave, things won't really work too well. So here's my pack of samples I downloaded from the Computer Music Magazine. It contains many samples, but if you look at their names, it's pretty obvious what is what. Now let's open MDrummer. Click on the menu and select Analyze and Import Sample Library. A wizard will pop up that will take us through the process. First, appoint a path to the folder with drum samples. I've named it CM. And click on the next button here. Now the most important part. This is where we must make sure MDrummer has keywords corresponding to the sample names. The default should do the trick for 99% of the sample libraries out there, but sometimes you can get something a bit too creative. How does it work? Look at the keywords here. If the sample file name or path contains any of these keywords, it will be considered a snare drum. But if a snare sample is named Funk SN1, MDrummer won't recognize it, so I may need to add SN to the list of keywords. Note that this naming is actually pretty bad because SN may appear in all sorts of words. Let's rather hope the defaults will work. When done, click on the Next button. MDrummer will check all samples and will show the window where we can check if everything worked well. Let's have a look. All right, there are kicks, snares, hi-hats. Seems like everything went according to plan. Click on the next again. Here we are given lots of settings. Most of the time you'll keep default settings unless you're doing something specific. OK, click on finish. MDrummer will show a window with statistics. Close it and let's have a listen to some of my new drum sets. All drum sets have been created in the imported directory. Let's check a few. Sounds fine. And it was quick and free. As a next example, I'm going to import a multi sample drum set. Here are all 155 samples. If you're going to make a drum set yourself out of such a number of samples, good luck with that. I'm going to ask MDrummer to do it for me instead. Again, all I need to do is check that all my samples are named properly. For example, these are a bass drum samples, 16 in total all named the same way. The only difference is the last number that reflects a velocity. MDrummer won't need that though, since it will detect the velocity automatically. The process is the same. Next, next, next. But at the last page, I need to enable the multi layered processing. Here is the result.
think of how much time I've just saved. See you next time.